Good morning, everybody. My name is Kimberly Wright. Welcome to the acronym MSOON, which means making something out of nothing. This is the class all about repurposing and making recycled crafts. All right. I like folk art, uh, junk art. Uh, I actually am a mixed media artist, but this class is all concentrated on things that we would normally throw away, but we could recycle or repurpose in some kind of way to make a beautiful project. All right, today is October the 5th. It's Tuesday, 2021. And our holidays and events for today are National Be Nice Day. National Do Something Nice Day. You could be nice like your personality, your disposition, but you can also take action and do something nice. All right, some of us don't have that problem because we do something nice every day. All right, well, we try to make sure we just have a natural, pleasant disposition, like I know Miss Betty Coleman and Miss Vicky out there, some really very lovely young women, loving and caring and very giving. All right, that don't have a problem with being nice. All right, National Get Funky Day. We're not talking about dirty and stinky. We're talking about funky like getting down on the dance floor. This go get funky. All right, National Kiss a Wrestler Day. Um, World Teachers Day. And uh, Chun Bin Day is a, a religious uh, uh, day for Cambodians. All right. So I would love for you all to share or show any of the projects that we've recently been making uh, out there. I'm going to basically be showing several. However, I do want to go ahead and show you the uh, when we did our cardboard paintings on the four by four squares and some of the circular pieces. I haven't had the circular pieces framed yet. However, I have had the uh, four by four squares framed and I would love to show you all those. So here they are. And I said, I would get these framed so that you all could just have an idea of how, how the pieces could look professional, even though they are pieces of cardboard. You can give them as gifts, you can sell them, you can exhibit them. And um, I'm going to keep my corners on uh, just to protect the actual frames these are like a metallic silver frame and and they also have glass and this particular frame is uh this particular frame was 15 dollars so if you remember that painting i did with the feather that's particularly that's how that looks and i signed it and everything all right, so these particular frames right here for the eight by eight were $15. And so like at the frame shop on uh, Mableton or Veterans Memorial, which is ba essentially Bankhead, it turns into Veterans Memorial. Uh, it's called Mableton Frame Shop. Uh, you can choose different uh, style frames. So it, you might even get a frame cheaper. All right, this is how this piece looked or came out. You can see I signed it. You don't have to sign your word. You can sign it on the back. It's all up to you. If you want to sign it somewhere and incorporate it with the artwork, that's what one of my professors from college uh, said to me. Kimberly, why don't you start incorporating your signature within the artwork like you can put it around the moon or as a design in the lady's dress you know 
just be creative. So you can see the glare on the actual piece that's glass. All right. And then I have two more pieces and we're gonna go on into our work. So this is the piece that I did with the class to show how you could do two scenes, mountain scenes, night and day. This is how those frames came out. And I think those will look really nice in a hallway or a room together, some kind of way side by side per se. All right. So even though I purchased those frames, uh, usually I'm into getting frames from the Goodwill or the dollar store and repurposing them, them myself. Um, even though I paid a little bit of money for those frames, it even makes the pieces look like even more professional per se. But um, sometimes don't get the word professional twisted. You know, profession could mean that this is your work. This is what you do uh, as a career to make money, to sustain yourself, to pay your bills. And professional could also mean just the fact that you've sold one piece. If you, that would, like some people always stick to try to call themselves amateur artists. As long as you sold one piece, then you are professional. That was your profession, you sold it. All right. To me, that's my opinion. All right. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, if you want to, Interrupt at any time to say, to share or show something, please feel free. Um, it's like, uh, even though we are virtual, this is not like a show or a, a, a broadcast, it's a class. So, you know, even though we're not, we just imagine that we are sitting here together working. So it's a work time, even though you, you are all supposed to be working right now uh, with your recycle craft so once again we've been working with cardboard and we've incorporated uh paint with the cardboard and we just recently cd uh cut cut cd art so i've made two um wind chimes one was shaped like a heart and uh the other one was shaped like a moon and so also before that we started making a few shells which I, you all know that this particular shelf right here, I have to put the string to hang it on the top. But so then I went back and started to work on my piece shelf. And for some reason, I think I'm gonna call this a piece party. So, so far, this is what I've done for since last week. So you see you have, uh, four shells here and then the way it was constructed you have a lot of little cubby holes or compartments I would say to uh, house other things and so once again these little button type uh, stickers I brought from the dollar store and I bought this shot glass tower from the dollar store and when you punch the circles out where the cups are supposed to hold on the tower, those little pegs of paper came out. So what I did, I actually just saved them because I was like, wow, they kind of match my, um, they kind of match my shelf. So I said I was gonna use them and I think I've already used the amount that I want in the inside, you know, it's really busy and looks uh, filled out. And for me, I think I want to go ahead and just basically utilize the other uh, few that I have. And so what I'm doing is putting them on the outside. I had two green ones left. So for the two green ones, I put one on the top and one on the bottom. And now I have, uh, six pinks left so if you notice my uh, base color for my 
piece is like a purple and pink sort of type tie dye type of deal. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and add the rest of these pink pieces. And I'll go on to uh, show you other things that I'm finishing up for our projects. And please, no, once ma yes, ma'am. Um, when I make something, I'm pretty much like you're saying, a lot of times we've been um, social distancing during the pandemic. So mm -hmm. when I make a piece like the box, a uh, cardboard box, man, I'm intrigued for um, just the idea uh, that's what you can do with pasteboard or something that there's really nothing. But right. I'm finding that uh, I'm not doing it. Like you said, you can put things along your hallway and after about a hundred years in this world, I got so much stuff. <laughs> I've um, pretty much tried to just use it like uh, you would a puzzle uh, to help, you know, with mental uh, uh, things like that for my personal, making sure that uh, dexterity is still here. So when I made the little man, I'm just intrigued that I, I even saw that this, uh, this was a cream cremola box and um, different pieces. I love this little man. I put little cups inside him and I found ways to add things. Like uh, this was a uh, yard sign piece of plastic that I said I couldn't throw away. And I just used it and used my imagination. It's just a, a cardboard box. I love it too. And I love it because <laughs> it was so simple once I, I took my imagination there. Uh, his eyes are like, and his ears are like toilet paper rolls. I just took a, a, a cardboard roll and cut it a little hole in the box and put it all the way through. It goes all the way through. And it's a shelf. I put everything on this thing. I put paintbrushes. I've shown this before, but I love it. Yeah, uh, I love it too. Miss Vicky, don't forget to like somewhere on the bottom or the back or incorporate it on the hat somewhere. Don't forget to write in white or gold or something. Don't forget to put your signature on there. I think I'm going to destroy him. Um, there are some pieces. Um, I might give it to him. It's just um, one you piece. Saw of, you saw know, You saw destructive. You don't want to hoard, okay? It, it took a while for me to get rid of some, donate books. So maybe so I donate it to my- uh, uh, <laughs> So why do you have to, why you gotta mess them up and why you just don't give them away? Uh, I haven't been very um, aggressive about uh, getting out and about since this pandemic. I could really store all of this stuff that we're making and clutter up my house, or I could do what's called uh, creative dismantling <laughs> it took a minute to put him together i could dismantle him but uh, or you not... could just keep it together and give it to somebody who appreciates art well you know it's pretty difficult when you're not going out and about in the football crowds and visiting i used to volunteer a lot i don't go about and uh, do all of Nothing that stays the same forever things always change <laughs> I don't know if you have infinite amount of space in your house. No, ma'am. But um, things like uh, I'm incorporating pieces in my of my artwork into my books. I'm getting rid of some of the books that uh, from the old college days and and yeah, that's what I'm getting rid of some of making books. room for other things. So that's why I've learned that you once I bring something into the house, I take something out. So we can't keep everything. And of course, these are just good things to learn to do when you look at, if I look at a bottle in my house, now I don't see just a bottle. I okay, see make, sure, make sure you take a real good picture of it all four yeah. sides and stuff. Then. I'm gonna take pictures of these. I've, like I've said, I've learned a little bit about Zoom in terms of um, backgrounds and uh, what you can do and, uh, uh, I opened up with a background scene and I wanted to expand that and see if I could use some of my artwork as a background. 
just by just going in and changing things, you know. That's new, uh, that's new to me. That's one of the art form forms that I'm finding that uh, may be a way to display my art. I don't know. It's on computer as opposed to sitting on my shelf. Well, oh. all right, young people. So, so far you see I've put these rest of the little circles around here. It's like three pink, then a green, then three pink, then a green. And so I just use those just to utilize them. And so far, this is how this shelf is looking. And when I actually take it, a picture of it for a art display, I plan on uh, putting some little things on it. Not to copy off Miss Vicky or anything, but even still, she did a really good job presenting hers. But I'm going to put some things on it to make my photo look more presentable. I'll take one by itself you know, without anything, and then take another photo for any art presentation we have with things sitting on it. So you see my, uh, you see my piece of art. <laughs> so I'm going to have one more class with these shelves to show how I made the stream. Miss Vicky, don't show that. We're going to be showing that. Okay. I just wanted you to see it. Yes, ma'am. We're going to be showing that soon, love. All right. <laughs> so, all right. So it's okay. No problem. So, all right. So uh, I wanted to just show you all with the lattice what I was doing, but I realized I only have three more paper tubes left. So once again, too, I'm not saying that you all, I know you all have a life and different things going on, but uh, it'd be great if you all have something going on every week for class to show that you been continuously working but anyway it's on the floor because it's like so large and so this is my lattice and as you can see I need probably two or three more uh sections I'm gonna say one two more sections and that's basically how it's looking so I'm gonna show you how the world is sitting on there I actually uh, put a piece where it was like one at the top, one at the bottom, and two at the sides. But I guess once um, so far that's how it looks. I guess once I'm completely finished, I'll be able to see how I how I really want it to look per se. Let me get my camera back over here. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't get a chance to really look at it that well. It looks good. You said you didn't get a chance to see it? I saw you put the uh, piece on top of it, but I, I didn't know if you were going to move it more central or oh, okay. on the floor. I'm just showing you how it probably would look with the lattice around it, but I did have a piece at the top, a piece at the bottom, and two at the sides. I'm not sure if I really like that. But it's not glued or anything, so I can always change it. But I need two more pieces, and I haven't, um, excuse me, I haven't rolled, need to roll a few more uh, paper tubes. And once again, this particular part of this piece is, you know, I was curious to see if you all would make something decorative. Although, even though I, I did like a certain kind of wind chime, Miss Vicky made a really beautiful piece that was totally different than even so, <clears throat> something that I said. And also, Miss Betty made that beautiful clock. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. So that was really, really exciting and amazing to me, the fact that you all came up with your um, own pieces in that respect. As far as the paper tubes, you all wrote some of those. I'm interested to see what you're going to do. So far, you see for Asia, I put rice, Africa the beads. For uh, Europe, it's supposed to be machinery and, and equipment. So I'm going to get my Europe paper. 
Miss Vicky, are you gonna try to take a picture of that uh breast cancer piece and resend it to me? Because I mean, I promise you, it's really, really dark. I will. You can barely see it, and it's so beautiful. I want it to really be. You mean the large piece? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you so much for being so understanding. All right. So I have a few more pieces that I can add on for the machinery and for North America. I saw that it had to deal with uh, different products, but for North America, I think I do want to put a piece of this cotton on there. Y'all know North America have a lot to do with us. Picking cotton, slavery, the slave trade, that type of thing. Um, until I get my other pieces on there, I think I'll just wait to put the cotton on the North America piece because it's fragile and I don't want it to be like unraveling or messing up. And so with this, what you can see on the North America, I've already put hot glue on the, the outer line or the that design of the United, uh, sorry, the um, North America, because that way, once I put all the glue there, it won't run out of the space. Plus, I'm we're also gonna... known in North America for uh, the Native Americans. So I would imagine, I guess, if I, my suggestion would be something, because we look at us as slaves here. However, I think the North American continent was the Native Americans before anybody supposedly quote quote discovered it. I'll definitely put there something to highlight it, but what about maize? I could just do corn. Yes, corn. Yeah, do you have any other suggestions? The uh, North American, uh, Native Americans were very proud people and they had their headdresses with the feathers and ceremonial pieces similar to those that we had in Africa. Yeah, but even still, you got to think about the fact that I'm kind of collaging like feathers. How long would a feather last on a piece like this before the feathers oh, fell away? A feather on my gentleman's cap. <laughs> it's a silk. <laughs> I don't know. I said, how long do you think the feathers gonna last? I, I love stuff like that, but really I'm trying to put stuff on here that's you know what I'm trying to say? Like, how could I, how could I- uh, I'm thinking about your cotton them. ball. Your cotton ball wouldn't, would be equivalent to a, a feather. Probably, I don't know. Uh, maybe a little oil well or something. <laughs> you know, even I'm concerned about the cotton because it pertains to, I don't know how I could actually really seal that in, but that's why I'm not even putting it on now because I don't know how you know what I mean some of this the like the rice maybe I can you put my pot or something yeah. for a little buffalo or uh, an arrow okay you know yeah that sounds good you know uh, they sell those little packages of uh I don't know if they have buffalo but certainly uh, a, a cow or something representative of uh, their heritage. You know, we came in and we did a lot of exploitation, not we as black people, but we as- I know, I was gonna say holy. Americans. <laughs> okay. Uh, the original Americans, of course, they talked about this maize and bees and things like that, but I would imagine that the Native American culture was already here and we just have to think about a little bit. Yeah, I'm glad that you even said that because I do want to kind of incorporate it somehow. So thank you for that. I'm That's your going art. To... I just thought I'd add my oh, little... I'm definitely going to incorporate that somehow. Trust me. Thank you. So I'm going to put this big Very screw well. on there, but I want to make sure... Uh, uh, I'm going to put this screw on here, but I want to make sure... It's going to be glued on. So I'm going to put actual glue on one side of it. And I'm going to put hot glue on it. I might end up going back putting some E6000 on it. Who knows?
All right, so far that's that section and it's Europe and it's machining. Nuts and bolts. Yeah. I wish I had a couple more bolts, but oh, you never know, I might get some from somewhere. And I was gonna put these on here, but they can, they're too large. So save them for the next project. And I realized that right here, I did the research again. As you can see, I'm looking at these little sticky notes, pad notes uh, on, was it Antarctica? Antarctica down here where it's cold, said that they, uh, one of their largest products was copper. So I'm going to get, I was looking for my needle tube which for some reason I don't see it. And I don't necessarily need it. I'll use something else. I'm just gonna pick this paper up. So you I have an old copper bracelet or copper chain or something. Well, I don't yet, mm -hmm. but, I, but the thing is, it doesn't just say copper, it says minerals. It says antimony, chromium, copper, gold, lead, molybdenum, and tin, uranium, and zinc. And so what I'm going to do is just put a few pennies on there, but not just right. pennies, period. I'm, I'm going to find some other stuff, but I just don't know yeah. what to use. You got some suggestions? Are you all still creating something with the CD art? You still working on your piece, Miss Vicky? Yes, I am. Okay. It's just the flip side that's giving me trouble. The first sides were okay. And, uh, but idealizing and finding out what to put on the other side is sort of uh, just- Is your energy still into it? Because probably maybe you wasn't even thinking about doing the back side at first. <laughs> Oh yes, if you if it's going to be hanging up as a wind chime, you know it turns. So I wanted something on the uh, reverse side as it turns. Why don't you just do a painting on each side? That's possible. Or it or do a mostly of a painting and then add like some uh some of the CD art on the edge or something. I don't want somebody to, I'm going to hang it on my deck, on my uh, uh, screened in deck, where it's protected mm -hmm. from the weather. I don't want somebody to come and looking at it and looking strange. I want it to really like stand out like that piece. It's going like to stand what? out. You could give me that piece right there. I mean, what are you talking about? The one with the uh, world? What you're working on now. <laughs> okay. See, what I'm doing is I take the, um, the different classes and try to incorporate it into that one piece of art. Okay, cool. So y'all know I saved these little papers so I can see the shape of the continent. I won't get lost in that. But however, I just wanted to glue a little bit more on that. And since Kim, who uh, made that guitar pasteboard uh uh thing? That was nice. That was Miss Jacqueline Lattimore. Okay, that was nice. We didn't ever see it. The final. She probably ain't finished yet. Miss Jacqueline, are you finished? <laughs> Miss Jacqueline. Um, I just about, but I haven't finished it. I got a lot of stuff, paintings, and a lot of stuff I haven't completed. Meaning, you go back. I've had no. I've had some tragedy in my family, so. I took a, a week and a half off. Sorry to hear that. So you go back and forth between your projects, right? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And I have to feel it. <laughs> yeah, I know that's, it's sort of like writer's block. You got to feel it to be able to yeah. do it. And right now I'm, I'm making my little grandbaby some hats he, he's having picture day my daughter called me and she wanted me to make him a couple of hats for his pictures so i'm making his hats this morning something always comes up 
That's cute. He probably gonna do a whole little photo shoot, huh? Right. That's cool. To match his African vest I made him. Well, sorry to hear about your... Uh, it just threw me off a little bit, but I'm getting back I'm on track. Saying, like, I was just gonna say, just stay positive and you know, take right. it one day at a time. Exactly. Yes, ma'am. Kim, we have so many projects going on. I'm very pleased that we are on Zoom, but the home projects and things like that. So, you know, I try to schedule my art in like Miss Lattimore uh, into uh, incorporating my life so I don't come back and say I'm bored with anything. I'm not bored. That's great. That's excellent. That's what you wanted. When we're at the center, we had to get in the car and drive over there and that travel time. I used to do other things now. Like taking a nap after my yoga class. Yeah, isn't that fun? Taking a nap now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Floating on a cloud, taking a nap. <laughs> yes, it's, uh, it's really nice to relax and take time out for yourself. You know, some people don't know how to relax. They just wound up all the time. But when my studio gets so busy with so many projects, like I've got a station for arts and crafts, one for pottery, one for writing and drawing. So once that gets a little bit busy, I, I take time out and uh, try to relax and go into <laughs> my boudoir and take a nap and float away on a cloud and just basically do nothing. You gotta learn how to relax. Yes, yeah. ma'am. So, so far you see, I got like a little bundle of mess here. Oh yes. That was like anybody who sew, Miss Betty, Miss Jack. You see, like it's really some shreds of different fabrics, and I have that really is a big bag of fabrics that Jamal has that he's been using cutting up. So I just went in there and took a few pieces, being that I know I needed to put fabrics on the uh, North America uh, continent. And so I'm just cutting some really nice or beautiful swatches off here and kind of just glue them on the North America, although they're not gonna be everywhere because I have North America has several products that we, Look for thing is right here. So far, what I've done. Kim, everybody may not know that Jamal has this great ink and pen and ink class. It is illustration. It is, I'm learning so much from that class. I, I, I never would draw or do anything in ink because it's so permanent. Mm -hmm. uh, I use pencil and chalk and um Charcoal puff, puff and, paint. Like and paint, but <laughs> paint is permanent, but it's not the same as when you're trying to draw and illustrate in ink, which is what he's teaching. I've got something here. Yeah, that's really Oh, nice. that turned out good. Turning out good. I'm still working on it. We'll just Hold on, let me see it. You use dots. Wait a minute. He's teaching uh, how to, oh, okay. Here it is. Let me show it to you. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, she's it's made out of just nice. little bitty lines and little bitty dots and little bitty uh, clusters, cross hatches and stipple. What is it? What is Miss Lattimore? Little stipples and dots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I should get mine. Let me get mine. Using ink, just using ink, and uh, I tried to use a marker. It didn't work out too well. So. <laughs> Y'all doing a great job. I love that. So it's something out of nothing, out of your little molecule in your brain. Oh, you got yours, Miss Lat. Okay, all right. I, you can't see it that good. I'm gonna. I think I'll make it dark. I see the clusters. I can see yeah. it. That looks really good. It looks like a Rasta woman. Yeah. An African woman with I love the mouth right on your. It looks cute. Yeah, I did the 
cross hatches. I'm trying each each of the lines, each of the different techniques. Oh, isn't that beautiful, Miss Betty? Let me Betty, see, Miss Betty. Betty. Miss Betty, let us see it again. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I. Oh, pull that's just to pull it back just a little bit. Oh wow. oh, wow. Wow, 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 yes. Miss Betty, yours is shining like a, like a stained windows from a church. Yeah. How did you get the different wow. colors? Yeah, that's what I want to know, how you get the different colors. You have to unmute yourself, Miss Betty, because we can't hear nothing you saying, uh, You have to unmute yourself. Okay. okay. Uh, if just the colors of the uh, CD. Oh, wow. Why is it reflecting off that, something in your house? That I was just... Oh, she's got on uh, her microphone. It's reflecting off of her Ready. jacket. Oh. Because her jacket has had that orange and blue that's reflecting off her jacket. And I'm almost finished with the back side. That's the um, back. That's the Betty. Turn it back around, Miss Betty. Let me see the center. All the reflections. <laughs> so, Miss Betty, it's like you omitted uh -huh. your butterfly body. What are you going to do for the body part? I don't know. I'm probably going to have to just make cut a body. A body. Yep. Yeah, you know, you can you can you can uh sit the butterfly down on a piece of cardboard so that you can have the right space in there and you know make a circle for a head and make continue to make circles in, until it goes down like for the tail of the butterfly, but that'll actually keep it strong. Okay. Yeah, so anytime you know you can do that, and if you need some type of assistance, some type of drawing or Whatever, let me know. Uh, but I know okay. you can do it. I know. I know um, you can do. Yeah. I know you can do it all by yourself. No, I, hey, <laughs> I don't turn down here. <laughs> oh, okay. For a minute there, oh, Miss but Miss I'm, Betty I'm had her head there. Slowly but if you happen to, uh, if you happen to come up to the facility and you need some type of. Uh, body print out or drawing or whatever, I'd be glad to help you. So just let me know. And if and I know you can do it yourself too, but I'm just saying. And uh thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh I need to show Melanie say tell you she did this in her art class yesterday. Can you pull oh, it back some and she used can you pull it back some? Oh wow. Oh, She's yeah. getting more and more creative. And she say, and I did like Kim say, make different lines and combine them. I uh -huh. said, okay, I'll make sure I let her see it. <laughs> yep, she doing her mountain scene. That's really beautiful. <laughs> I love the feeling. Yeah, she, I love the feeling loves. of being creative or drawing when we were like just kids. It's some. It's some feelings that you can uh, remember from when you was a child that just make you feel all warm and good and loved in the inside. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. she loves. She loves. Y'all have a to good draw. day. I she gotta go. Uh, yeah. Okay, you too. You was about to show something else. See these, my. These my little butterflies that I was gonna put on it, maybe. I don't know. What are they made out of? Paper? Cardboard. Uh-huh. I just oh, cut wow. them out of cardboard. Oh, you know, you you say you're gonna use them as the, the pieces that hang or something. Yeah. That'd be really nice. And let me show you something. I'm so glad that we didn't get out of class. Okay. I'm not trying to persuade you from your your own own creativity. However, 
at the dollar store, Dollar Tree. Uh-huh. They have these packs of uh butterflies for one dollar and hold on one second. Oh, okay. I think I got some of those. And these, it has one, two, three. I want to say three, six. It's four pieces each. So you have. Okay. It's like 16 butterflies in here. Okay. Yeah, because I, I had got it, some. They you were, know what would be cute? If you made a piece of cardboard, just kind of like that shape around it a little bit larger. Uh -huh. or, just, or just make the cardboard the same size as the butterfly, glue the butterfly on one side, and then the other side put uh, CD, the CD pieces. Hmm, okay. So when it turns on one side, you'll have the butterfly, and the other side, you'll have the CD pieces. Okay. It's just a suggestion, but... um. And it's also, already painted. I won't have to worry about trying to paint it. This I was already has glitter up. on it and everything. And um, you can okay. just you can just some kind of way use a strong glue and glue the center of it from the back. That way your wings will kind of be still raised and up. Okay. You know, some of them Got instead it. of gluing all the wings down. Okay. Yeah, but these are, I'm sure they have some more. For whatever reason, as much as I do go to the Dollar Trees, and I know you're still working on your butterfly, I'm going to, if I see another pack, I'm going to get that for you. And um, if you see them, that's fine. If I get an extra one, it's no problem. Anybody can use them. I have the bells. Okay. For you, Ms. Ms. Vicky. Yeah, because the ones I got are the small ones. Yeah. And they are different colors. And you see the size of that compared to my hand. It really is fitting the palm of my hand. Okay. Yeah. So it's about that Thank large. You. All right. No problem. Okay. And um, I even bought these little mirrored mirror stickers since we doing CD art as a option to go on the back of one of the things that hang. Okay. You know, I was thinking maybe I might make since this is cactus, maybe I make might make the top piece be like a plant or something. And I said I wasn't making any more CD art. Uh, so I was like kind of tired of that. I want to move on, but I might make one or two more wind chimes. Because I had a, you know, you all remember the wind chimes I made like this. And I love the design that Miss Vicky made. You see the wind chimes? Uh huh. That particular style. I, literally when you said circles and squares and um rather than cut mine out like the moon i went ahead and, and used original oh that i didn't say says the moon and the stars <laughs> circles and squares when we started the cd art i said to you all that you can use any design or shape that you like i would say use ice cream cones Whatever, just you got to be creative and have the type of design that you want. But the type of uh, wind chime that I'm willing to go ahead and cut them CDs to make again is like, I really want to have, I was going to make it out of paper, but I really want to have a flat piece like so uh, with the holes going around it and then like the pieces going around like that. So essentially, even though I was going to show you the bowl, I'd like to have, instead of having a moon or something to the side like that, I want to have a flat piece with the holes around it and the strings going like that. So uh, I am willing to make one more to just go ahead and satisfy my creative uh, itch to get that done and see how it comes out. So I might go ahead and do it. Yeah. And so, since we've already been in class for about an hour, if you have to leave, feel free. But uh, the other uh, shelf that I was making was this house. Oh, did you ever get a door? I didn't get the door yet. Why you found one for me? 
I'm trying to allow y'all now. Say that again. I was waiting for you to get a door. I, I, I imagine that you were going to end up making the door. Oh. You know, I ice cream think stick. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna think I'm going to keep that same magazine aesthetic because I don't know. I just like the quick magazine pictures. But I did finish this oh. chimney and it's only going to come up so far, but like straight, how you and Miss Jean was like, turn that thing up straight. Yeah, that's better than going uh, to, the side. to the side. Yeah, but I'm going to force it a little bit straight. But as you can see how the the thing is sticking inside the house, what I'm going to do is, you know, draw a pencil line right there so that it can fit perfectly in there. And then I was just thinking, too, I could possibly make this out of something. If I wanted to, I could put some holes around it, hang something, and make it a chandelier or something. Well, I was thinking Although, about transforming my chapel. You know, we made the dioramas. Uh-huh. You can take the diorama now and make it a shell. <laughs> or, yes, <laughs> that'd be cool, too. But however, I was going to say, I don't want to make that a chandelier because the, I was just about to say, this is not a diorama. It's a shelf. And if I put... It's not like a dollhouse either. If I put too much furniture and different stuff in here, I won't have nothing to actually be able to sit things in. So uh, before I'm actually really sure about a particular piece or compartment that I add, I do not glue it in or actually add it all the way until I'm completely sure that that's what I want to do. So uh, I'm just making sure before I put that chimney in all the way. All right, y'all got to be creative now. That could have been a telescope. I just planned. <laughs> All right. No, it's a lovely rainy day, so you know. <laughs> it is. Um, Shuma Shumyala Harun. Shumayla. 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 Uh -huh. Is that Indiana? Is that Black African? She's she's uh she's Indian. She's from the Buddhist culture oh. hindu hindi hindu uh-huh that's a nice name ha -hoon. Yep. well everybody's gone but us i guess it's time for me to leave i got things to do people to see places to go okay thank you so much for joining making something out of nothing my name is kimberly wright thank you thank you so much and sharing your beautiful creativities and your creations and we will uh, chime back in next week have a wonderful safe and blessed day Peace and love. Peace. Bye. Peace.